I got my drink. What's up, everybody? Happy Tuesday. Before we get started, I actually forgot my drink in the other room. So welcome to Coffee and Tea Meetup. My drink is in the other room. Stand by real quick. And Coach Lee, you can take it over from here. Right back. So we wait for you to come back. All right, guys, thanks for your patience. I am back and I have my favorite drink right here. I had my tea earlier, but can you all see? Zevia. I've done quite a few videos on Zevia and I want you to give me a one in the chat if you actually ever tried my recommendation for Zevia. And the good thing about it, guys, it comes in so many different flavors. It comes in grape. My husband, you like root beer, right? Yep. It's just so many different flavors, guys. And the good thing about it, it has zero sugars and about three ingredients. You cannot go wrong with that. But anyways, guys, I wanted to ask you a question. Well, first, for, before we get into a segment, like how many of you all have like an air freshener that you use in your house and it just sprays automatically, right? Give me a one in the chat because my husband purchased several for the house and I was going to look for my earrings and guess what? It sprayed me in my eye. I'm like, oh my goodness. I'm like, is my eye okay? Please. So I move the air freshener spray to a lower part of the stand so it will not spray me in my eyes in the future. <laughs> that is the worst feeling ever. I'm like, oh my gosh, almost like shampoo being like, you know, stuck in your eye. I don't know. Like, give me a tune chat. You ever had shampoo in your eyes? That is the worst feeling forever. Almost like OC spray when I got in the police academy. That was the worst day ever. I drove home with my face, <laughs> my face like in the air condition. Oh my gosh. If you if you have ever been sprayed with OC spray in the academy or security training, whatever you've done, give me a three in the chat because that is an experience one like no other. Coach Lee, do you remember when I came home that day <laughs> from the academy? <laughs> do you remember? Yeah. It yes. was where did I say, I'm off topic, but this is like a true story. What happened? Like, where did I, how did I say it went? I, I just can't, all I can remember you saying was, if you, <laughs> you know, your face was hot or burning and stuff. Was, I think you had a, I think you had a towel or something on your face. I can't remember what it was. It was insane. So kudos to all the police officers out there, all the law enforcement security that have gotten spray, pepper spray, OC spray, whatever you want to call it. No game. My classmates were laughing at me. It was so crazy. But anyways, moving on, guys. So today, um, we are here doing a coffee and tea meetup. So Coach Lee, I'm sure he already had his tea. He'll be able to share with his favorite tea in just a second. But what we're going to talk about today, guys, but first, I want to ask you, how many of you all are ready for Thanksgiving festivities? Give me a one in the chat, right? And then also, while you're at it, let me know the types of food that you enjoy to eat on Thanksgiving, right? And Coach Lee, you can go first talk about like if you had your tea today, what kind of tea did you drink? Because I want people to know, the community to know, they can place their order for teas as well. We will have this shipped directly to your home. But just talk about what you had today and then talk about what you love for Thanksgiving while the other um, people in the community put in the chat if they're live or on replay and what they love to eat for Thanksgiving as, as well. All right. Uh, I had a um, so I had a protein coffee this morning, and I had a um, my energy tea uh, with my 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 lift off, and um, you know my healthy energy tea. Uh, that's was my tea for the day. Uh, and right now, I'm just drinking uh, some water. Uh, that good H two O. So I then had my teas and my coffee, protein coffee, and um, so for Thanksgiving. You know, I like turkey. Definitely like okay. turkey. Okay. Um, I do like to eat the um, the dressing, the, the stuffing, uh, only a little bit. Um, I do like I, I do like macaroni and cheese, but it's only it's got to be special macaroni and cheese. You know, only a little bit of that. 
Uh, I do like the vegetables, rather, whether, whether it be greens, um, string beans, whatever it is. Definitely got to have my vegetables. Um, okay. And uh, the sweet potatoes, the the yams. That's <laughs> you got to stay away from that type of stuff. But you know, I might get you know a little taste. You know, but uh, yeah. that's what I like. That's what I like to eat for Thanksgiving. But you know, you can you can still enjoy your Thanksgiving and be you know and be healthy. So, um, but that's what I that's what I like for my Thanksgiving. Exactly, and I can totally relate to loving those candy yams. My aunt makes the best candy yams. In fact, give me the three in the chat if you love candy yams because they are so delicious. I have to like have self-discipline because they are so good. Um, I just asked my aunt if you can like switch up the ingredients for me because like I'm trying to stay on track. But anyways, guys, so we're here today. We're going to walk you through how you at home can bake your very own candy yams, but they're low carb and low sugar, right? So I'm going to walk you through how you can do that at home. And then I'm going to bake mine tomorrow. And I want you to share with me how yours came out as well. Okay. So if you have not grabbed your paper and your pen, this is a great time to do that because you will be taking some notes. All right. All right. So here are the ingredients that you'll need, right? I went to the market. You would not believe I left this stuff in the freezer. <laughs> I apologize. Have you ever like thought you were ready, but you weren't ready? Give me a four in the chat. Like everything's no problem. I'll be right back because I want to show you exactly what I got from Sprouts. So stand by. <laughs> All right, I'm back. So hopefully. All right. So guys, I went to Sprouts today. Sprouts is a market and I was looking for some squash, right? Because I know that I live a low carb lifestyle, zero to no sugar. And I wanted to bake something totally different than I've ever done before because, you know, I asked my aunt, if you can change your ingredients? And I don't think she is. So anyways, so I went to Sprouts. Let me know if you can see this on the screen right here. All right, let's see if I can move it around. It's gonna be, but there we go. All right, cool. So it's organic butter squash. I'll put a picture in the comments below where you can go grab your own. It's organic buttermilk, uh, butternut squash, sorry. And guess what? It only has 12 carbohydrates, one fiber, and two sugars, one protein. So I bought two of these, all right, put that there. Then I also have some ground cinnamon right here. You can get your own ground cinnamon, whatever you like. So write this down, guys. So butternut squash, you need some ground cinnamon. All right, some ground cinnamon. Yeah, you guys can see that right there. Ground cinnamon, any one you want, doesn't matter. You can get off-brand. I use them all. And then guys, I'm gonna be using some vanilla pure extract. You all should know what that looks like. You can get from any local market. And then guys, the very own, very, very own Swerve Organic Sweetener, right? Got this from Sprouts as well. Going to hold that up. I'll drop some pictures where you can find it for yourself, but this is a Swerve sugar-free sweetener that you can pick up at your local market. But if you cannot find organic, guys, you can just get the regular one. And you also can pick up uh, brown sugar as well. In that, and the last ingredient we're going to be used today is going to be grass-fed butter, the Irish brand. You can get that from any local market, Walmart, they all have it there. So as you can see, there are not a lot of ingredients that you need, but I'm going to run by them again, just in case. So the first one I talked about was your frozen bag of butternut squash. You don't have to get frozen. You can get the kind of already cut. It's totally up to you. Then you'll need to get ground cinnamon because you're going to use one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, right? You need your sweetener which is sugar free you will need to have one fourth cup of that and you also can add brown sugar as well as regular confectionery confectionery sugar exactly 
And then you're going to use four to five tablespoons of grass fed butter. All right. Lee, what do you think that you think that's easy to remember? Uh, it, yeah, that's not too bad. That's easy to remember. Exactly. Um, you know that I don't really don't care to cook, so all my ingredients must be <laughs> must be quick and must bake quick, right? Yes. Yeah. All right, and then hey guys, I went to the dollar store and picked up these little inexpensive like pans to cook in to bake in. Whoops! You guys can pick up your own pans. Super easy. Doesn't matter. Mine's gonna be a small dish. All right, so put that in the chat if you wrote down the ingredients. If not, I'll go back and I will share the beginning at the end. But now we're going to get down to the actual baking part, right? So these are important for you to write down these instructions because you need them. <laughs> All right, so if you're tracking, make sure you're putting in the comments, right? So number one, you are going to... Preheat the oven to 400. How, what what, the, what should the uh, oven be on, Lee? 400. Exactly. And then you're going to, step number two, you're going to cut open the bag of squash or however, if you got the ones that were already cut, no problem, you just open that up. You place them in your pan, right? And then you sprinkle your spices on top, right? You sprinkle your swerve, you sprinkle your brown sugar that's sugar-free, right? And you can even add your vanilla pure extract to your pan as well. Sprinkle that on top. And then you want to bake it for 30 to 40 minutes, check on it periodically and take it out when it's reached your level of liking, right? So remember, these ingredients are simple and the process is easy as well because I really don't like to cook. So I'm going to make me bake. I'm, I'm baking mines tomorrow and I will share with you how mines came out tomorrow. And I want you to share to the community as well, how yours came out. So these are super easy ingredients. Uh, I think coach Lee is going to use the actual sweet potato, right Lee? Yes, that's correct. So He'll make his dish and I will make my dish as well. So just a repeat of the ingredients so you guys won't forget. Um, put them in the chat, make sure you're tracking with me. Uh, the first one is you can have a bag of zucchini squash, not zucchini, squash <laughs> that is frozen. All right. And then you want to have ground cinnamon. You want to have your sweetener that is not, that is sugar-free. You can have bread brown sugar, and you can have regular confectionery sugar. I love swerve and monk fruit. You get the pick. And then you also need some grass-fed butter, right, to cook along with that. And then you'll need a small pan to cook your, your candy yams, or AKA <laughs> keto-friendly uh, candy yams in there. So I thank you all for your patience uh, as we provide you with different, like, hacks and you can take on for Thanksgiving because Thanksgiving is a time where you can really enjoy your food. But I like to eat a lot and I want to make sure that I am fueling on good nutrition. And if I decide I want to eat the whole pan <laughs> of the candy yams with squash, it's no problem. They're guilt-free. I can do that, right? So Coach Lee, um, any other tips you want to share like with for Thanksgiving, how it's coming up? Uh, I, I know for me, I don't like to overeat. I like to use smaller plates to make sure that I am not indulging so much. And I like to have a, a light breakfast during the day and then really enjoy my um, meal later on. But what are some tips you want to share to the community as well? Yeah, so I usually fast the, the day of Thanksgiving where I don't eat anything until I eat Thanksgiving because usually uh, when that happens, um, I get fuller faster. So we may not eating all day, just fasting. When I when I do go to eat, I can only eat a certain month because I don't know why it's like that, but that's how it works for me. Like I'll, I'll I won't eat no breakfast, I won't eat anything on Thanksgiving, and I'll just wait till Thanksgiving night. And it controls my eating because I can get fuller faster. So I actually eat a smaller portion after going all day, you know, fasting. Okay. That's great. One thing I'm going to be doing all that I usually do for myself, I usually get a shake, a protein shake, which is a meal replacement that we use and have been using for 
a half a decade. It is amazing. And it just really keeps me not like super, super duper full, but it, it, like, it like holds me over until Thanksgiving feast. We usually eat like around three, but everybody don't get to like about five o'clock. I'm like, I'm so hungry. <laughs> How many of you all like say Thanksgiving is going to start at three o'clock, all right? But everybody get there at five o'clock. I'm like, I'm so hungry. I'm not waiting for anybody else. Like, Lee, doesn't it always happen? Like, people arrive like two, three hours later. I'm like, where, where are you? You already know how that's how it goes. Exactly. But, all right, guys. Well, we came on today to share with you some of our tips and strategies that we use and that we share with our clients to use as well to implement on living a healthy, active lifestyle, right? We believe that it can be done because we are no different than you. We've been on training for half a decade. I'm 44, just turned 44, mom of four, four C-section, and the list goes on, right? Had a, a, a fixed mindset. I thought that I could not reach a goal of 100. At the time, it was 130 pounds. I didn't think I could do it. But little I know, guys, when I hired a coach, changed my mindset, and became really focused and locked in my whole life change. And I can say that I've been able to keep off 65, over 65 pounds. I lost track after 60. Doesn't really matter at this point. You know, my goal and our mission is just to inspire and help uh, our, our clients believe in themselves, but most importantly, hold them accountable for the goals that they set for themselves. We have a five-day challenge, guys. It's been amazing. Our clients have released Guys have gotten amazing results, but the, but the bottom line is you have to put in the work, right? You have to believe you can do it, and you have to put in the work, and then you have to follow the program, right? If you don't follow the steps, you don't show up, if you don't have your camera on, then you're probably not going to get results. So I'll let Coach Lee talk about his experience with the Friday Challenge, how you can join too. We have an amazing Black Friday sale coming up, guys. You don't want to miss it. Uh, put in the comments below challenge and i will send you the direct link i will only send you the direct link for this amazing offer guys it's a direct link so i advise you to comment below we coach you for five straight day guys and you can get the results if you put in the work and the results are not always on the scale it comes in your energy level your sleeping patterns how do your clothes feel and etc so coach lee what do you want to add to that about your experience on your journey to weight loss and how you have transformed your whole body and my end is a little, it is actually a lifetime journey right because it continues right yeah so uh the challenges are um actually pretty fun um when you when you get into a community with people like-minded like you who are looking for the same goals it makes things easier i've done about i don't know what four or five challenges uh, with with Coach Kiva, actually, yeah, who is my coach? And uh, every challenge I've lost um, at least at least two pounds. Um, one, depending on the, if it's a five day, we've done five days. We've done, I don't know, did we do ten day? We did thirty day. Every one I lost, I went from two pounds, and I've I've lost up to like eight pounds, um, or nine pounds, close to nine pounds. So the yep. challenges challenges are fun. Um, it gets you interacting with each other. Um, and like I said, when you, when you have that, um, open, um, like right mindset, um, instead of having the, the fixed mindset, like I, I used to have, um, it helped me a lot. So I like the challenges. I like when other people join in and, uh, you know, we all, we all get in the chat. We post what we eat, we post our exercises. I mean, that's just fun to me and, uh, I like it. And. I I I encourage anybody who excuse me who wants to you know get fit wants to get healthy um, join our challenge uh, but you gotta be you gotta be ready you know, don't don't come in half in half out because it's not gonna work so if you're ready come join the challenge you'll see you'll be in there with other people that are like minded you'll have fun and uh, just be coachable if you're coachable then you'll be a, you'll be surprised at what you can accomplish. Exactly. Thank you for sharing, Coach Lee. Exactly, guys. And so we have the Friday Challenge, right? This starts on Monday. The onboarding starts on Sunday. But for the people who are really, really ready, put ready in the chat, and I will send you another direct link, right, that is for serious people only. It's a six-week program. 
guys, I will not, I, I, I'm not going to be having this anytime soon. So I would encourage you, highly encourage you to, to go ahead and DM me, put the word, put comment in a section below so you can get the link because it is a special one like no other for Black Friday, guys. So that's pretty much all we have today. But I really, we want to leave you all knowing that no matter how old you are, because Coach Lee, how old are you? I can't keep up. <laughs> 41. He's 41. I'm 44. We have children from 24, 21, 14, and 11. Finally got it right. Like, it doesn't matter how old you are or where you are on your journey. You can literally start from wherever you are, but you have to believe in yourself, right? There's a quote by Henry Ford that says, if you think you can, you can. And if you think you can't, you're right. So if you don't think you can do it, you're right. But if you think you can, you can absolutely excel. And we're here to support you for accountability because the truth of the matter is we all know what to do. We all know we should eat the right food, eat more protein, vegetables, and et cetera. But we still don't do it. You want to know why? Because we need accountability. And my life changed completely when I hired a coach. Game changer. I still have one. All right, so that's it for today, guys. You got value from this. Share this video, like, and follow us on YouTube, guys. So you can go and well, follow us on YouTube and here so you can know when we go live. All right, till next time, don't forget you have the ability to substitute different foods for Thanksgiving. You don't have to have all that sugar and carbohydrates. All right, let's go. Hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Okay, what do you want to say? I'm 41. I'm 41. But my birthday's coming up. My birthday's coming up in January, and I do have a goal to, to reach 215 pounds. Um, I still got some. I got you know, 15 to 18 pounds to lose to reach that goal in January. So, guys, I'm just uh, if I can do it, you guys can do it. If you have a birthday goal, come join the come join the challenge. We'll work together to accomplish it, and. Uh, to be honest, I got about to be 42. I got more energy now, and I feel healthier than, than when I was 35. So uh, I'm the oldest out of all my brothers. And people tell me, hey, man, you look like you're the youngest. So, hey, guys, you ready? Like Coach Kiva said, the description's at the bottom. So, you know, if you want to get healthy and fit and look younger like me, then uh, <laughs> let's go. Well, Coach Lee, let me correct you. I didn't say I would put the link below. I said I would, if they comment, if they comment the word ready, or if they comment oh. the word, I forgot what I said, I'll send it a direct link because it's only for serious people. And this special will go, will go away. The cart will close literally at midnight on Friday. And so I only want to speak with the people who are really serious. I don't have time to waste because time is of the essence and we only have today to take action. And I forgot what I was going to say. We couldn't hear your wellness goals because your your um, vocals, your your internet, your internet was going in and out. Can you just state where your uh -huh. wellness goals are for your birthday? Because I believe everybody should have a birthday call. I have not ran yet, but I will run. I just turned forty four, so give me some time. All right, go, Coach Leah. We couldn't hear you earlier. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get to two fifteen. I got about eighteen pounds to lose. Okay. Uh, I know I can do it. Because I've lost 30 pounds in 30 days before. So it wasn't easy. But when I put my mind to it, it's light work. All right. And uh, when you say light work, tell the community what does that look like, like for you? Because it wasn't, you didn't want to track anything you were you were doing, right? But the power of I mean, tracking information, like okay. talk about that for a little while no, no, no. and then we'll let it's, the community go. It's, it's light work for me because now I, I got the recipe. I already I already mixed it all in the bowl and, and put it in the oven and baked it and got my good results. It tastes good. So uh, to me, it's light work. But you got to be willing to cut out all the junk food, no sodas, no sweets. You got to cut off your eating window um, at least three hours before you go to sleep. And you got to eat healthy foods. And you got to write this stuff down. If you don't write this stuff down, you're not going to know what works for you. So... Um, that's why that's the point of tracking stuff. Some people don't want to track. Like I didn't want to track when I first started, but I started tracking. And now I know what I need to do, when I need to do it, how much to do. It works. Um, and you will never know until you try it. So that's all I got to say. Exactly, guys. So I forgot what I said earlier, but 
You can comment the word ready and I'll send you the link to the five day challenge or I'll send you the link for the six week accountability program. One like no other. So yeah, <laughs> I forgot. All right, guys, till next time, max out, bake those candy yams version and share tomorrow how it turned out because I'll be sharing with you how mine has turned out. All right, guys, have a good night.